Did you know that there are in fact 10 different stats that go into making up the DPS number that you see on your character sheet? Today we're going to rank those so you know which ones to prioritize when the game goes live. Stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, Vesp here from skillup.gg. I'm going to be powering through this video today because I want it to be short. I'm actually going to be doing a long form version of this video, which I'll be releasing tomorrow, that talks about this stuff in a lot more detail. But this is essentially the highlight reel and brings you the main information that you need to know if you want to get a quick understanding of what are the stats that you need to prioritize when the division goes live. Guys, if you like this video and you find it useful, remember to like and subscribe. It's a huge help to me. And with that, we'll get started. Coming in at number 10, we have hip fire accuracy. Now, the TLDR on this is that it is not a good stat and you should avoid it. You should not be aiming to hip fire your weapon, except if it is a shotgun, in which case hip fire is awesome. All this stat actually does is change the rate at which the reticle gets larger or shrinks back down when you are hip firing, and that is not aiming down sights. So obviously, we're not aiming to do that very much. We should definitely be avoiding this stat as much as possible. At number nine, we have accuracy. Now, this is a confusing one. Basically, in my opinion, this should not be featured into the DPS calculation, but for some reason, Massive, the developers have chosen to include it. All it relates to is the size and shape of your reticle as you are aiming down sights. So we spoke a moment ago about hip fire reticle. When we talk about hip fire accuracy, this is accuracy when we are aiming down sights. It should not feature into the DPS calculation. However, it is a buff to your effective DPS because it is going to mean that you're going to be hitting your target more regularly. Either way, this one sits at number nine. At number eight, we have reload speed. So this is very straightforward. How quickly does our weapon reload? Now, obviously, we want to make this as fast as possible. But to be honest with you, it doesn't have a huge impact on us on PvE or PvP. In PvE, we're probably just going to be sitting behind cover when we reload anyway. So no big deal. And in PvP, we actually don't want to be reloading our weapon at all. When we're encountering enemies, we want to burst them down ASAP. If they still have health left, we want to switch to our secondary. And if they still have health left, we'll switch to our pistol to finish them off. Reload is not something that we really want to spec for when we're looking at PvP builds and as I said provides very limited utility in PvE settings so I'd steer clear of this one. At number seven we have rate of fire. Now this is a pretty decent stat. It's a pure throughput stat meaning we are going to fire off more bullets in the same amount of time than we otherwise would. It's decent in PvE because obviously it means we get more bullets out of the chamber and we're doing more damage to our opponents but it's particularly good in PvP settings because we want to be able to fire more rounds than our opponents to get them down ASAP in a PvP setting. So for that reason, I put this one at number seven. At number six, we have headshot damage. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a great stat if you are a marksman who is prioritizing headshots again and again, for sure, this is fantastic. You should definitely be prioritizing this stat in PvE settings. However, for every other type of gun and even marksman rifles in PvP settings, it's gonna be very hard for us to get those headshots, either because our targets are moving or because we have too much recoil on the weapon that we're using, etc., etc. So it's a nice stat to have, but we really need to think about how often are we going to land headshots. There's a lot of bonus damage when we do that so it's definitely worth it but it is tricky to land them so for that reason this shot this stat sits at number six at number five we have critical hit damage now this is a fantastic stat when you have enough crit so for instance if we're talking about a submachine gun with plenty of base crit and then you've got a few other crit mods active sure this is fantastic but without a decent level of crit this stat is almost useless to you and should be avoided at all costs later on when our base level of crit across all our weapons goes up this is going to be really fantastic and this sort of stat combined with crit is probably going to overtake all other stats in terms of its overall utility but for now it's a pretty limited value so use with caution that's why it sits at number five at number four we have critical hit chance very straightforward how likely is it that when you fire a bullet it will crit the target. Fantastic stat when you get enough of it and fantastic stat when you stack it with enough critical hit damage. It will overtake other stats in the future in terms of its overall utility. In particular, in PvP, it's going to be massive. And I would say watch this space because right now there's no modifier or no reduction or no stat that reduces the impact of critical strikes in PvP settings, which is a bit of a weird one when we're talking about PvP games because yeah, 
things can get pretty crazy sometimes when we talk about the impact of crit. So watch this one. It's a decent stat. Definitely prioritize it. It's only going to get better with time. That's why it's sitting now at number four. At number three, we have glove weapon damage increased to specific weapons. So if you look at your gloves, there's a very good chance that they actually have a plus damage bonus modifier to a specific weapon type on them. And this is a flat increase in damage per bullet. So there's no special trickery associated with this. It's simply a case of it says 22 damage, you're going to do 22 damage extra per bullet that you fire, which is quite decent. You know, in this, in the beta that I was running, it was about a 5% increase in DPS for me, which is a big deal. So definitely try and find a pair of gloves that match the type of weapon that you are using, and you're going to see a very nice increase in your DPS. Uh, number two, we have magazine size. Guys, I cannot emphasize how awesome this stat is. It's purely about your magazine being able to hold more bullets, which means that you get to fire off more rounds before you need to reload, which means it's easier for you to finish off targets in PvE settings and PvP. This is just fantastic. It's a huge increase in your base DPS, but in PvP settings in particular, it can absolutely mean the difference between life and death because if you don't have to reload when your opponent has to and you're still firing away while they're, try while they're trying to get a, a clip into their weapon, that's a victory for you. So definitely prioritize this stat. It's fantastic for your sheet DPS. It's fantastic for effective DPS. This is awesome. And finally, at number one, we have weapon damage. Now guys, this is not an exponential increase in your DPS. It's not applied at the end after all other bonuses. It's applied at the beginning before any other bonuses and then it's added on to the weapon damage, including other bonuses. So don't think that it's gonna have this huge gigantic impact on your DPS. However, it is definitely massive. It's definitely noticeable. In particular, when we were at this early stage of the game, we have very low levels of crit and critical hit damage. This stat is king. Nothing is gonna beat this stat for now. As we get more crit, the relative value of this stat is gonna decrease. But right now, this is a fantastic stat. And going forward, weapons like assault rifles, LMGs, shotguns uh, and pistols are really going to prioritize this this stat above all others because they do not rely on crit they rely on base damage more than anything else and so for that reason this stat is going to be king but that's it from me guys that's the top 10 list i hope you found it really useful if you did remember to like and subscribe there are going to be more videos on the way as i said i'm going to be doing a long form version of this video which should hopefully be out tomorrow that really talks about this stuff in detail if you're the kind of person that really wants to understand what goes on behind the scenes with weapon mechanics and weapon stats that video is going to be for you so uh yeah like subscribe i hope to see you guys around again and uh regardless i look forward to seeing you in the dark zone thanks take care bye bye